everybody, welcome back to another Body Up Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE action figure news that I thought you guys would be interested in, and I meant to upload this earlier. However, I, uh, I, I just ran into a few snags, and I could not get the video up, so I do apologize to that, but I also want to give a huge shout-out to my man, Unstable1047, as well as Wrestling underscore figure underscore enthusiast on Instagram for all of this news, because without both of them, I would not have this video possible. It wouldn't be possible to make this video and get the news out to you guys so a huge shout out to those guys for making this video possible so let's just go ahead and dive into the news guys so that we don't waste any more time because i gotta go get some football dinner before the food truck leaves my neighborhood and i gotta get food because you know mdt you, you gotta you gotta eat food right I mean, you, 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 you eat food you get strength you can function and without a you know without a functioning mdt there's not a functioning md me there you go so diving into it first guys let's go ahead and start off with the first news which is pretty much we already knew this kind of but elite series 88 is completely confirmed. We've talked about this multiple times on the channel. This set is actually pretty solid. I actually enjoy this wave a lot. I think it's a lot better than some waves that we're going to be getting here soon. I think it is probably better than Elite 86, and it's most definitely better than Elite 87. I feel like a lot of people don't really care for Elite Series 87 with the with the Candice LeRae and the Otis and the Braun and the Apollo and the Asuka. It's just kind of like, eh. But this Elite Series 88, Roman Reigns, Matt Riddle, Sheeta, Rey Mysterio, MVP, and Trish Stratus is a really solid wave. you got some flashbacks in there. You've got some great male talent. You got a great women's talent. I mean, this is you got a first and dime in the line. I mean, this is a really good set here. So Elite 88 is confirmed. And it's actually been revealed to us that Trish Stratus will be the Chase variant figure in this set, which is more news to us. So the Chase variant in the set is Trish. Now, I've been saying it for a long time. I feel like I've been saying this half a year since we found out about this Trish Elite, that it would be her match with Charlotte. It's got to be right. One of those will be that version. I would guess the mainline version will will be the version versus versus Charlotte at SummerSlam. And then the Chase variant will most likely be a, ch uh, not a Chase variant, it's obviously a Chase variant, but it will be a flashback is what I would guess if it were up to me. You know, if they said, MDT, what's your guess? This would be my, just my e educated guess on this right here. So Trish Stratus is the Chase variant. Very big news there. A lot of people should be excited for that. Hopefully, you know, I'm sure it'll be the best Trish they've ever made with double jointed knees potentially double jointed arms since we know Elite 85 Becky Lynch will have double jointed arms so that's huge news as well. The next series or the next thing that I want to talk about guys is Showdown Series 6 or Championship Showdown Series 6. You guys know they, there's no longer battle packs. They're more of these Championship Showdown packs with the side plates and everything like that. Low key kind of miss the old battle packs man. I, I honestly miss old basics just in general but these Championship Showdown Series packs I don't even know if I bought one just yet. I, I don't think I have. I could be wrong about that but we're six series in and I don't even know if I've purchased one set at retail before because I feel like a, I feel like a lot of them have just been re-released head sculpts and things of that nature but maybe I'm just not paying that much attention but Showdown Series 6 is going to have the Street Profits, the Usos, and Cena and HBK from Mania 23 so these basics should be really good. I hope that Shawn Michaels and John Cena have good head sculpts. I really want to see newer head sculpts not just older ones with true effects plopped over them that give them dark eyeliner and look kind of off. Hopefully these guys Guys look much better than before and we get a new head sculpt I'd really like to see that as well as the Usos man the Usos their new head sculpts are imperative I really don't want them to be yelling why are you yelling don't yell I don't want any yelling we get any use Usos yelling around here and the ish is gonna hit the fan we don't want Us you, you, we don't want yelling Usos man Jimmy J I feel like every figure we've ever got of them except for maybe their first battle pack has been them yelling in some sort of way. I want them to, like, angry's okay, like, pissed off is okay, but I don't want any yelling, and then the Street Profits will probably be, uh, I don't know if there'll be new head sculpts, we'll just have to see about that, and we will see how that all goes, but you know that uh, Angelo Dawkins is going to be massive nonetheless. Moving forward, guys, we have Basic Series 123 news. Now, this is pretty interesting. You guys know that Paul White, Big Show, moved on over to AEW. We will probably get AEW figures of the Big Show. I could see them doing all kinds of Big Show figures, um, whether it's his current look in a suit. Maybe, you know, we could get like a flashback from, uh, from an another look. Apparently, when you own that talent, you can get, you know, all kinds of different figures of that talent ever. Like, you don't have to own specifically, you know, like, I think they can make flashback figures when they weren't even in AEW, if I, if that stands correct. I'm pretty sure TNA did that with Sting and stuff like that. So we will have to see about that. I don't know entirely, you know, about that whole thing, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. So we could get some pretty cool Big Show figures. But that does not really matter in this set because Basic Series 123, Big Show will be replaced with the current WWE Champion, which is going to be Bobby Lashley. So Bobby 
Bobby Lashley, the new WWE Champion, will be replacing Big Show, and that is some news that is pretty big, you know, it's, it's not like huge news, like we've had so many Big Show figures that it's like, eh, but him being replaced with Bobby Lashley could be cool depending on the head sculpt and the attire and stuff. I think we've gotten long, tight Lashleys, just, I don't know, we'll just have to see how that plays out and stuff like that, you, you guys know how I feel about basics. But after that, we have also some, ne some news about Basic Series 124. Now, in Basic Series 124, it has been revealed to us that the Chase variant in this set is going to be Angel Garza. So, Angel Garza is going to be the Chase variant in this set. You guys know this set includes Seth Rollins, Rey Mysterio, Kyle O'Reilly, Io Shirai, and Angel Garza. Now, I'm not a big Angel Garza guy, but maybe you guys are. Maybe there's like a cool attire that they were released there. And so that is the case there. I mean, out of basics, Chase variants don't really bother me. I don't know if you guys would be interested in Chase variants. Like, Seth Rollins, I guess, would be cool, but I'd rather have an elite, you know. I guess if the head sculpt was good, but then what do I need the basic body for? And then Rey Mysterio probably would have been the better option simply because he has so many different gears that people love and head sculpts you could pop onto elites and make some really, really cool fix-ups. With Angel Garza, unless it's a new head sculpt, not going to be much of a reason to grab it since we already have his elite figure. But, you know, there's a lot of things that go into that. So the Chase variant in Basic Series 124 is going to be Angel Garza. And then we also have some news regarding Elite Series 86 Sid. Now you guys know that we have covered that series many times on the channel. It should be coming very soon. I would guess that it would be in stock not too long after Elite 85. I feel like it's been a minute since Elite 84 hit. Elite 85 should be dropping like any week now. And then Elite 86 I'm guessing will follow shortly after if I had to guess like. So that will be interesting for sure. But Elite 86 Sid is going to come with a removable ref shirt apparently that is the news there a removable ref shirt for our Sid figure and it should be like the tank top look you know it's got the tank top on there and that should be interesting unstable 1047 my man Christian pointed out that it'll probably be a lot like the Pat Patterson figure and the Gerald Briscoe figure that we got in the past where you know you, you get the the figure and then he's got the removable shirt on there and you just take it off and he could be in his wrestling gear or whatever the case is I don't know if he'll have on black removable pants or if it will be you know this whole deal and also I'm interested to see if the likeness of Sid will be the likeness of MDT like his other elite, the Psycho Sid figure that we've gotten before. That is the head sculpt that we used for my figure. And so if, you know, the likeness is there, maybe I could give me myself a different expression or something like that. But maybe that was just a fluke accident. I don't know. I'd like to see a better likeness figure to myself or, you know, a head sculpt that looks more like me, but I think it gets the job done, especially for the time being. Uh, I could always, you know, I'd, I'm always open to getting a new head sculpt, but you know, my hair's not like that anymore. That head sculpt's kind of oversized for my body. I do have a big head, but I don't know about that, Brad. You know, everything going on with that. But Elite 86 Sid is going to come with a removable shirt, and I can't wait to see if he actually has, you know, the, the, the likeness to MDT. We'll have to see about that when those images drop and things of that nature. But I think that does it for all the news we have. I feel like I had one more thing that I wanted to tell you guys, but it's not coming to my brain right now, so I do apologize for that. But before we get out of here, guys, I do have to get into a random shout out and then I'm going to go grab some dinner so I don't starve because again, a non-functioning MDT is a non-functioning MD me. So, you know, we got to get the stuff in here. And this shout out is going to go to Mr. Championator who says, when MDT finally says thank you instead of threatening me not to cross the line, smile face, never mind, he still threatened me to cross the line. That was hilarious. That made me chuckle a little bit so I figured I would plug it here at the shout out. So, huge shout out to Mr. Championator for that comment for making me chuckle a little bit in the day, but I got to go get some food, Brad. Thank you guys so very much for watching say I just thank you again but I'm still gonna tell you not to cross the line <laughs>